this right here? Yeah. That's in the way. Uh, one sec. All right. I'm just gonna shift over here. Ah, perfect. All right, welcome back, everyone, to another Continuity Crew Weekly. Uh, Will is not here today. He is out on vacation. He's in Bama, probably drinking and having a good time. Before we begin, uh, Continuity Crew Weekly, Continuity Weekly, Continuity Weekly, Crew Weekly, Continuity Continuity Weekly. God, I can't say that. Continuity Weekly is about uh, updates coming up this weekend or this week. For example, Monday through Fridays, any videos that we have, Monday through sa Saturdays, I guess. Any videos that we have coming out, so this keeps you updated. If you like to know more about what's coming out this week, go subscribe. Uh, we have these every week, and we'll keep you updated. Coming out this Monday is going to be In the Heights. We're counting it as a streaming junkies because it came out on HBO Max. It's out now on theaters, and uh, I got an early access to it not too long ago. We'll get to see it like a full month before it came out, so uh, we're going to be talking about that. Check out what we said about the movie. It's not, it's not really... It's one of those things where Will and I can both agree to disagree, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, before I continue, though, a little bit of housekeeping. I'm having issues with trailer downloads, like downloading trailers from YouTube. Uh, I don't know what that's about. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. So, Tuesday uh, trailer, hopefully, like I just said. Don't really know if I'm able to download the trailer thing, video thing. Whatever, whatever, whichever one I can get out first or whichever one I can download first. Wednesday, it's going to be kind of special. Uh, we didn't really have any like big feature-y things that we wanted to talk about. So we just kind of created a new segment called uh, Continuity Crew Podcast. It's just a regular podcast. It's like BFFP and, and basically Film Report combined. Um, we haven't done a film report in a long time, and BFFPs are kind of steering a, steering towards that that quick video instead of like a full podcast review on a certain movie, uh, whatever new movie comes out that week. So we created something called the Continuity Crew Podcast. It's basically just us talking about movies. I know people, a lot of people do that, but this time we do have a kind of a uh, very specific topic that we we want we want to talk about, and not just like random movies um so for example uh on our first video this week uh we're gonna be talking about reboots and reunions uh reunions recently have become really kind of i don't know i don't know popular is the word to say but it's become really it's become a thing you know like back then people used to be worried about reboots and um recreations and stuff like that so uh, reunions are the next best thing, I guess. Um, so more recently they did like a Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion. They did a f uh, just recently a Friends reunion, and I think it's a saw it's a reboot and a sequel or a season of iCarly. Uh, that one's coming out on Paramount Plus. We're just putting it on there because it's kind of in that gray area between re reunions and reboots. Because they have, they do have like I think they're probably in the first episode they're gonna do like a reunion type episode. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be coming out very soon. Uh, just hear our thoughts on it. And if you have any thoughts on on that topic, let us know in the comments below. Thursday and Fridays, they're kind of reserved for trailers. But again, like I said, trailers are wishy washy. Fridays are also reserved for like quick little re uh, reviews of movies. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something on that because Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard just came out. And that had some terrible reviews. Awful reviews. And I can attest to that. It was... I didn't I didn't, I didn't. even finish the movie. Um, yeah. Saturday. Might do something on MODOK. Um, kind of writing a bunch of stuff right now. So I have stuff for The Conjuring Universe and MODOK. Uh, whichever one I'm interested in more. Like in terms of writing and setting up and which one I can get edited quicker. I uh, usually in the in in weeklies we do movies uh box office numbers for movies but since it's kind of it's kind of uh 
complicated with the whole Warner Brothers same day release thing and streaming and theaters releases. Um, I don't think they have the numbers for In the Heights because that came out very recently. So I don't think they have numbers for that. If they do, um, I don't know how much of it is accurate because they also have stuff from for uh, for H from HBO Max. So I'm not going to do that, but I will do uh, movie releases coming out this week. So also in weeklies, we also do movies that come out every week uh, that's coming out this week. Um, so I have that here and I've seen a few of these not like I haven't watched any of them but I saw the overall reviews for some of these so let's check some of these out uh, June 16 the men's wife's bodyguard uh, came out like I said I did have an early showing but I left because uh, it was just so painful to watch so maybe I'll try to watch it on the 16th again hopefully there's not that many people also because there was a lot of people in my showing it was surprising um, yeah that one got a 6.8 and a 31 on Metacritic. Wow. Next on the list, The Birthday Cake. June 18. That's going to be rated R. I have no idea what this is about. But it's got Ewan McGregor on it. And it's directed by Jimmy Giannopoulos. Uh, I don't know what this movie is about. On the 10th anniversary of his father's death, Giovanni reluctantly accepts... I'm not going to read all that. Uh, next, June 18 again. Oh, these are... Majority of these are the same day. So June 18, summer of 85. It's got a 6.9 on the on the review score or stars. So nice. Even nicer, Metacritic score is 69. Nice. It's got Felix Lefebvre, uh, Francois Azuna. Um, this is, I think, a French movie. That's why I don't know how to write, read. I don't know how to read French, so I'm just gonna. Uh, director is Francois Jozon. Writer is Aiden Cham. Cha oh, Aiden Cham Chambers, uh, from a novel called Dance on My Grave, uh, adaptation by Francois Jozon. And then, um, yeah, it's a French movie. I don't know if it's gonna be in English or French. So I don't know how many of you will watch that. Should be interesting though. It's got the same vibe as like, uh, what is that movie with uh? With Army Hammer, call me by your name. Yeah, that one. It's got uh, it's got Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. I don't know how to say his name. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it looks like it's got the same vibe. At least it looks like very indie. It looks like it's very foreign. It looks like it's very summery. So, yeah, summer of '85. You might be interested in it. Comes out on theaters June 18. Uh, next up, The Serpent. This is the worst rated one I've seen. In a long time. And like any movies that I've seen. Like this is probably. I think this is worse. Than. I don't know what's even worse than this. But The Serpent. Um, top special agent Lucinda Kavis Kaviski. Works for a secret part of the CIA. She's given a special assignment. But then set up by her own agency. It looks like it's uh, Atomic Blonde. But trying even harder to be like John Wick. I'm not sure. Uh, interesting fact about this movie, it's directed, written, and acted by the same person. So it's got Giascova as director and writer, and she's Lucinda, so the main character, I think. I don't know. I don't give a shit. It's got CIA stuff. Not usually very interesting, especially for something that's like, I think this girl is a, I think this lady is a, no, it's not her first time directing. Never mind. Or is this her first time directing? Yep, it's her first directing, so that's ballsy to do all three. Um, yeah, that comes out. That that's so bad. It's a two point nine on review score right now. Uh, up next, same day again, June eighteen. Uh, this one's by Edgar Wright. Ed, every time Edgar Wright comes up with something, it's always his heart and soul. And I think this is about the same for, uh, as his other projects. It's called the Sparks Brothers. This time, it's going to be in a form of a documentary. Uh, it's about the Sparks Brothers. They're I think a band, and they made like. 4,000 songs, I think, something like that. Um, I don't think there's anything famous, but I, I, they have a lot of people, famous people in the movie, so I'm guessing those people have heard of this, the Sparks Brothers. Should be interesting. Will and I are going to watch it, maybe talk about it. Uh, it's got an 8.1 and an 81 on Metascore, so that's great. Good for them. Uh, this last one, 
It's got Willem Dafoe. I didn't even know he was coming out with a movie this year, uh, aside from possibly Spider-Man. Um, but he's in this movie called Siberia. I have never heard of this. Uh, it, it looks like it was made in 2019. It says it on the top, at least, of IMDb. Uh, coming soon on June 18, 2021. It's got Willem Dafoe, Dunya Sikov, Simon McBurney. Uh, it's directed by Abel Ferrara. Uh, I haven't heard of this guy, I don't think. Uh, it's about an exploration into the le- le- language of dreams. Hmm. Uh, something that, uh, something that we'll be talking about soon, hopefully, is going to be the Fast and Furious. Um, it's out everywhere else, except here in the United States. Maybe people got the opportunity to watch it early, but, uh, next week that's coming out, so. That's it for this week of Continuity Crew Weekly, or Continuity Weekly. Will's not coming back until, like, the 20th or the 22nd, so you might be, you might see me for another second week. Who knows? Uh, I had to put this to, I had to put this together so quickly because I have to edit this before I go to uh, my friend's birthday party so yeah I forgot baby Grogu was right here he's just laying here yeah wow you're soft buddy yeah thank y'all for watching we, we, we've we been the Condor Reader crew we love movies we love y'all click that subscribe button if you want to see more of this if you want to keep if you want to be up if you want to be up to date on our videos uh, hit the bell notification thingy Put it on personalized so you can see everything that we come out with. And if you want to tell us what movie you've seen in the last week, let us know down in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Say bye-bye, Grogu. Say, say bye-bye.